This is Aaron Russo, a filmmaker and former politician. To his left is Nicholas Rockefeller of the infamous Rockefeller banking and business dynasty. After maintaining a close friendship with Nicholas Rockefeller, Aaron eventually ended the relationship, appalled by what he had learned about the Rockefellers and their ambitions. Uh, I got a call one day from um, an attorney woman I knew, and she said, would you like to meet one of the Rockefellers? I said, sure, I'd love to. And uh, we became friends, and um, he began to divulge a lot of things to me. So he said to me one night, he said that uh, there's going to be an event there, and and out of that event, you're going to see we're going to go into Afghanistan. So we run pipelines from the Caspian Sea. We're going to go into Iraq to take the oil and establish a base in the Middle East. And we're going to go into Venezuela and, and try and get, and get rid of Chavez. And uh, the first two they've accomplished, Chavez they didn't accomplish. And uh, they said you're going to see guys going into caves looking for <laughs> looking for people uh, that they're never going to find. You know, he was laughing about the fact that you have this war. On terror, there's no real enemy. He's talking about how by having this war on terror, you can never win it because this is, so it's an eternal war, and so you can always keep taking people's liberties away. And I said, how are you going to convince people that this war is real? He said, but the media, the media can convince everybody it's real. I mean, you know, it's just that you keep talking about things, you keep saying it over and over and over again, and eventually people believe it. You know, you created the Star Reserve in 1913 through lies. You create 9-11, which is another lie. Through 9-11, you, then you're fighting a war on terror, and now all of a sudden you go into Iraq, which was another lie.